I'm Sarah Gore and this is Open House NYC. This week we're touring some of the largest homes in the country. We visit an estate in Greenwich, Connecticut, which is one of the most expensive homes listed on the U.S. market. And a Tampa area house so large it has its own replica of the Oval Office. Plus a Newport estate fit for royalty. But first, a picturesque island in Connecticut. Welcome to one of the most unique, secluded, and exceptional properties in all of Connecticut. But first, we gotta get there, so follow me. Welcome to Open House NYC. Today I'm coming to you from a beautiful penthouse on the Upper West Side. This brand new home features a triple story entry gallery and grand sweeping staircase which leads to a unique entertainment space. Let's get started about an hour outside of New York City. We're taking you to Tavern Island, an enchanting, historic, and private property near Rowayton, Connecticut. You have year-round access to this island oasis via a separate mainland property. Now, this extraordinary setting is truly unique, and it's the first time it's hit the market in over 30 years. Hi. I'm Doug Warner with William Pitt Sotheby's Real Estate, and welcome to one of the most unique, secluded, and exceptional properties in all of Connecticut. But first, we gotta get there, so follow me. Rich in history, legend, and lore, Tavern Island was first inhabited, we believe, by European settlers in 1651. There's so much more to see. Let's continue on. This extraordinary island consists of three and a half acres of beautifully landscaped grounds and a 6,000 square foot Tudor mansion built in the 1900s, a tea house, a caretaker's or guest cottage with two bedrooms and two baths, and a boathouse, and almost half an acre of privacy and private property on the mainland. And all this is located within one hour of Midtown Manhattan by car, by train, or by private yacht. So as we come in the main entrance of the house, we enter the more modern portion. The current owners added this kitchen as an addition several years ago. It's much more updated with the you know, the nice countertops and the nice hardwood floors. They have designed it in such a way that it, every window sort of takes advantage of the outdoor vistas, whether you're looking at the landscaping and the rock ledges and things like that, or looking at the water. The kitchen leads us into the living room. The living room is original to the house in the 1900s construction. And it's anchored by this massive stone fireplace. And I think the original builders had an interesting idea because they brought the stonework that you see outside. They brought the echoes of that into the inside through the stones on this massive fireplace. Some of the other vintage architectural details that stand out in this room are the coffered ceiling, the paneled walls, the intricate hardwood flooring, and the use of windows that take advantage of every view of every different angle. On our way up to the master suite, we come to one of my favorite places in the whole house, this window seat. I think the view from here is just absolutely spectacular. And now we're in the master bedroom suite, and it's oriented and focused to overlook the National Wildlife Refuge in the distance. It also faces due east, so every morning the sunrise comes up over the water, bounces off the water, and comes streaming into the master bedroom. That's not a bad way to wake up. Other features in the master suite include a his and a hers office suites and heated floors in the master bath. And finally, we return to the outdoors because that's what I think makes this extraordinary property so special. You have 360 degrees of waterfront property, unlimited potentials, sailing, fishing, kayaking, kite surfing, you name it, it's all right here. A private beach, you have a pool. You can watch the moon rise over the National Wildlife Reserve or watch the sunset over the island of Manhattan. It's all available to you 365 days a year, every season, every day. Well, thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this intimate tour of one of Connecticut's most enchanting properties. 
what do you think about Tavern Island? Tell us what feature you find amazing on Twitter with hashtag OpenHouseTV. Stay right here. After the break, we're taking you to one of the priciest properties in the country. Have the best of all worlds with KF Nanny and Homes. Visit KF.com today. Welcome back. We're sticking around in Connecticut for a tour of one of the most expensive homes in the U.S. This 50-acre waterfront estate in Greenwich is known as Copper Beach Farm. The property, which dates back to the 1890s, features a 12-bedroom mansion, a whopping 4,000 feet of water frontage, and if that's not enough, two offshore islands. Take a look. Hi, I'm David Ogilvy of David Ogilvy & Associates and Chrissy's International Real Estate in Greenwich, Connecticut. Welcome to Copper Beach Farm. As you approach the house, there are these wonderful cut stone conical towers that go up to slate roofs. The windows even have curved glass in them. Above the front door in the front portico, there is a balcony. Story has it, it was for brides to throw their wedding flowers when they were leaving the reception. Entering this marvelous house, you're in this great big English hallway, complete with fireplace. Everything about this is just the essence of welcome. You see archways going to various rooms off of this, but the most important thing is the view. There's a wonderful feeling that this is really watching nature go by. This is the library, which is the center of evening living. When the lights go down and the sun goes down, this is a room that everybody comes to. The fire will be burning. Have wonderful rich paneling here, incredible detail. It's just a place for family to gather. And the detailing includes glass fronted bookcases, wonderful collection molding around the fireplace. You have the original lamps throughout this house. Everything is absolutely original. It is a museum quality house that is still in this amazing place. This is the formal dining room, a wonderful richly paneled room complete with a fireplace at the end of the table and a wonderful plaster tracery ceiling above us. It's a room that really brings people together. Coming off the English hallway, there's a colonnaded archway into this main living room. A wonderful south-facing room that looks across the garden and out to sea. You have a fireplace facing that, and you have this wonderful dental molding that continues throughout the house. At the end of the room, there are French doors which lead to the garden room. This is an amazing room. It's got a tracery ceiling again, and that's a room that would work beautifully in winter, no matter how cold the temperature is outside. This magnificent walled garden is original to the house. There are views of Long Island Sound from every vantage point throughout. Right now we're standing in the center alley of crepe myrtle, flanked on either side by beautiful open gardens. This is just a beautiful place to be, and that's not even all that this lovely property has to offer. Only by walking around this property do you get a sense of its scale. It is very neatly divided in such a way that you never lose sense of its warmth and intimacy for everyday living. Among the property's many features is this marvelous swimming pool. It has 16 sides and a hot tub that will handle 20 people, I'm told. Not only that, there's a grass tennis court, just like at Wimbledon. There are open lawns, 40 acres of woods and orchards, but the real highlight are these amazing copper beech trees. These are the most beautiful trees I have ever seen. In the end, what this property is all about is the water. Surrounded in three sides by magnificent open water, with views down across Long Island Sound. It even comes with its own island. What more could anyone ask for? I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Copper Beach Farm, one of the most magnificent estates in all of the United States. What would you do with all that land? But we're not done yet. Next, we're heading to an unbelievable home in Tampa with 25,000 square feet of living space. And we visit an historic estate in Newport, Rhode Island. You don't want to miss it.
Welcome back. We continue our tour of some of the largest homes in the U.S. in Newport, Rhode Island. Now we're visiting an iconic home known as Seafair. Built in the 1930s on its own gated oceanfront peninsula, every detail inside and out is simply stunning. Take a look. Hi, I'm Melanie Delman of Lila Delman Real Estate. Welcome to Seafair in Newport, Rhode Island. Seafair is a Louis XVI style chateau completed in 1935. I have so much to show you today and it really starts right here at the forecourt. Curved wings embrace a special spot, centered by a limestone entrance with an Art Deco motif. As you gaze up, the slate-hipped roof takes over with its soaring chimneys touching the sky. As you walk in, you're greeted by a dramatic entry hall perfect for greeting guests, with a ladies and gentlemen's room, and a view of a magnificent staircase perfectly placed for making your grand entrance. Off the entryway is the formal living room, an absolutely exquisite space with overdoor lunettes, a Louis XVI marble mantle. You can just imagine the social gatherings that have taken place here. Through this set of French doors, we enter the dining room, where more Louis XVI details abound, including a marble fireplace and rectangular overdoor paintings. But my favorite aspect of this room is the southwestern exposure, offering natural light, gorgeous views, which really adds to the dining experience. The gourmet kitchen includes top-of-the-line appliances, including a La Corneau stove and hood. It also features the finest cabinetry, hand-painted oval ceiling, and earth and sea tone granite countertops. The grand stair hall contains a sculpted staircase with directoire style railing, gold leaf ceiling, all leading to a master suite. This divine suite begins with its own foyer, a sitting room, and a landscape artist's view of an estate drive and award-winning gates. It continues into the intimate sleeping quarters with a luxurious marble bath and one of my other favorite places, an ocean-facing balcony. This you have to see. The outside of this estate is really what it's all about. The manicured grounds are home to an ocean-facing pool, a carriage house, expansive terraces, tennis court, and a beach from which to swim or kayak. You feel like you're on top of the world. Thank you for joining me on this tour of Seafair. I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look at a majestic place in history. What an amazing property. Coming up, a 25,000 square foot home in Tampa that includes life-size replicas of some of the most famous places in the world. Plus, an exquisite oceanfront estate in South Florida. Cobalt Banker Real Estate, fulfilling dreams for over 107 years. Welcome back. Now we're heading to South Florida to an oceanfront estate in Hillsborough Mile. Not only does it feature a private beach, but you can dock a mega yacht on the Intracoastal Waterway. Now this estate encompasses just under 20,000 square feet and has the most meticulous finishes throughout. Hello, I'm Susan Renly with One Sotheby's International Realty. Welcome to Chateau Cherie here in South Florida. Let's go on in. I'm going to show you around. This magnificent home is over 20,000 square feet. It has 175 feet of direct oceanfront and also 175 feet on the intercoastal waterway for your mega yacht. The home has amazing details throughout. As you can see, the moment you enter the wrought iron and glass front doors. 
This entranceway features magnificent marble inlays, not to mention the double floating staircase. But what this estate is really about is right this way. This is what I call the wow room. This is South Florida living at its best. With 30 feet of floor to ceiling windows overlooking the beautiful ocean, you'll never want to leave this room. The hand carved ceilings were inspired by a palace in Venice and these seven Corinthian columns really add to the palace-like feel of this living room. But at the end of the day, this is just a great place to hang out with friends and family. Now we're entering the dining room, and once again, it's all about the ocean view. That doesn't mean that the details here should be overlooked. The hand painting ceiling is inspired by ocean mythology. It's a great and luxurious place for holiday entertaining. As with most homes, the kitchen is the heart of the house. The ceiling is finished with Venetian plaster, and with a view like this, you'll never mind doing the dishes. Off the kitchen is this bar lounge area where you can grab a cocktail, kick your feet up, and relax. But if you want more excitement, there's a billiards room right upstairs. And for movie night, there's an awesome 3D movie theater. This master bedroom has everything you'd want. There's gas fireplace, separate seating area, and beautiful spa-like master bath. For those nights that you just want to cuddle in bed and watch TV, with one press of a button, your artwork lifts, TV is there. But it's way too sunny to watch TV. Let's head outside. The outside is just as amazing as the inside. You have the palm trees, the pool, the jacuzzi, and practice your backhand on your private tennis court. What more could you ask for? Let me show you. Look at this. White sand, turquoise water. This is what makes South Florida beaches world famous, and it's just steps from your back door. I hope you enjoyed viewing Chateau Cherry, one of the most beautiful estates I've ever seen in South Florida. Coming up, we saved the most interesting mega mansion for last. It's one of the most unbelievable homes we have ever seen. Welcome back. Now the final stop on our tour of some of the largest estates in the country is just outside of Tampa. We're revisiting a nearly 25,000 square foot Spanish colonial style house that sits on 11 acres. It features additions you won't find anywhere else, including a 900 square foot oval office complete with a duplicate of President John F. Kennedy's desk with a hideaway door. And that is just scratching the surface. Hi, I'm June Simpson. Welcome to my home. As soon as you enter, the first thing you notice is this huge family room area and, of course, the view. This particular fireplace has the Malibu tile, but what makes it so beautiful is that if you have a see-through fireplace, you can light your fire or you can sit down and you see each other from room to room. This kitchen is full of details. The walls are all tile, but we actually had Mexican plates put into the tiles to accentuate all of the colors in the plates and the 3D effect. This dining room is true Santa Fe, from the Venetian wall plaster to the hand-painted tiles reflecting the pond outside, the stained glass window, and ending with this magnificent chandelier. Hi, I'm Tom Simpson, and I'll take you around the lower level of the house. We made the ground floor into sort of a play area. My wife grew up with a Tampa theater, so we decided to replicate that as much as possible. We have the Tampa theater in the Simpson home now. Now we move into the music hall. I've 
collected these items over many years. I've got several of the albums that are signed by the singers. I love to walk through this hall, just look at the photographs. I can't spend enough time down in this hall. Well, now we're in my game room. Four chairs over here came from the old Yankee Stadium when they tore it down. I spend hours down here taking peeks at the memorabilia. It was just a last minute thought after we started the construction of the house that I would do an Oval Office. I went to the builder and this is what we came up with. A few years back, I spotted this desk that I fell in love with. I purchased it, not knowing at the time that it was the Resolute desk that is used in the Oval Office of the White House. You can see here that the knee hole down here brings us to the old uh, photograph of John Kennedy and John John. I made one with my desk with my grandson Jacob in there. If, if I were to become President of the United States, I, I would not need the White House. I would prefer to stay here. We wanted an infinity pool, so uh, we had this built with the waterfall. We landscaped the, uh, the pool with a lot of tropical trees and boulders. Gives it almost a rainforest effect. The gazebo is a wonderful place to sit in the evenings and relax and look out over the lake. Thank you very much for visiting our home and hope you've enjoyed all of our eccentricities. That's all for now. Tell us which home you love the most on Twitter with hashtag OpenHouseTV. If you missed something on today's show, head to our website, OpenHouseTV.com. You can also join our Facebook family and follow us on Twitter. We'll be back next week with more beautiful homes and design tips. Thanks for stopping in. I'm Sarah Gore and I'll see you next time.